Okay, so it is December 6th, and we're doing another writing vlog for Project Road Trip 3. I thought I would be done this six days ago, and I'm not, so here we are. Um, <laughs> I guess this will be part three of my NaNoWriMo vlogs, but it's no longer NaNoWriMo. Um, so make sure to watch the first two videos where I start writing Project Road Trip 3 because in this video we're finishing the book like I'm vlogging until it's done and this is what we're doing and I feel very unguided right now because normally when I do writing vlogs I have like a goal like a, f a big goal I did the writing 5,000 words a day until I finished my book vlog um, and then, of course, the last ones you guys saw where I was going to write 80,000 words. My book is currently at 61,567,000 words. I actually haven't wrote, written anything since I last vlogged. It's been almost a week, so we're not going to let it be a full week without writing. We're going to, we're going to do the thing. And as you can see, Christmas tree in the background. Um... I remembered why I wanted to finish the first draft of my book in November, and that's because Christmas is chaotic. So this is where we're at. Um, so what am I going to do? Because it's a new month. Because before I was tracking my writing in my writing planner and using the monthly spread for November, but now I have a blank spread for December. So I think first things first is I'm going to fill this out. And I guess I'll take you guys along for the ride. And then um, I'm going to do some writing tonight. I'm, I'm not going to set big goals, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm very low energy right now. And I would much rather read a book than write this book. So we're just going to see what happens and be happy with whatever happens. Before we begin, let's pick out our stickers. I know exactly what I want. Have you ever seen a more perfect Christmas sticker for word counts? And we also have a few stickers over here. We'll take the ones that I've already started to use. Admittedly, probably my sloppiest work ever, decorating my planner. Um, and halfway through, I remembered I had stickers for a Let the Rebel Fall that I could use. And it would have been perfect because the book release is this month. But I guess we're just going to deal with a somewhat ugly planner setup. I don't know why I thought the washi tape and these stickers would look good together. It just kind of looks like a mess, but... It, it speaks to how motivated I'm feeling right now. I've changed my writing goal to just writing every single day. In my head, I kind of have a minimum requirement of writing a thousand words, and then if I write more than that, then that's great. But I'm kind of setting the bar really low for myself because December's busy. <laughs> like, there's just a lot going on. Like, 
Ugh, we have a Christmas party this Saturday that I'm just not ready for. Um, but I came here to tell you guys my new writing goal, which is just to literally write and whatever happens, happens. But also because I need to vent for a minute because I was so excited that this came in the mail. Um, I've been bullet journaling, uh, well, basically ever since I started my sticker business because I didn't bullet journal for the longest time because I just hated the process of like, setting up my bullet journal but now I have my stickers that I designed uh, here let me so these are like the stickers for the week of Christmas and that's my bullet journal setup and I've been loving it like I filled out my like you can see the planners like really filled out and I started a YouTube channel um, just for setting up my planner and my bullet journal and I've, I've really found a lot of joy in it so I was so excited like I just bought this planner off of Amazon last year but this year since I've been more into my planner I wanted to buy like a fancier one and spoil myself so I got one from Archer and Olive and it finally came in the mail it took so long to ship and arrive like it said it was supposed to arrive on Monday and now it's Thursday um, but it's here and I was like wow this is a big box like it must have like a lot of padding in it so I open it and I, I take the little paper and then I immediately I'm like oh shoot this is a big planner and for uh, reference this is the size I wanted versus the size that I got and this is not Archer and Olive's issue this is a me issue because I don't speak planner and I did not even think of like measuring what my current planner size is and double checking because me being stupid thought they're all the same like why is there it did not even occur to me that there's different planner sizes and I bought this one because it has a beautiful like cloth and it's teal which is like one of my favorite colors and like it's just got the simple Archer and Olive logo like I don't like anything super like super fancy but I was so excited and now I'm like oh no it's way too big so I looked and I can return it but I don't really want to return it like I don't know I just feel bad returning it because it was my own stupid mistake <laughs> but my stickers have these washi tape stickers and they just barely are long enough for like the regular size planner I have so obviously it's gonna be way too small for this size planner it's gonna be too small by a couple inches so I don't know what to do but I just thought I would share because I'm having a moment of wow that was stupid of me and I was supposed to film my uh, plan with me for 2023 video tomorrow so I was excited that this came in on time but now I'm like I can't even use it I thought I would share if you've done something similar like this, let me know. I am prone to doing stupid stuff and making stupid purchases where I look into a ton of details, but like the one most important thing, like I don't know the size. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where we're at. <laughs> with you guys I'm so sick of working on this book right now <laughs> it is December 15th 
I've written almost every day. The only days I haven't been writing is we had a Christmas party and then for the release of my book, I was just too busy running around. And actually, I have a vlog for release day if you want to watch it. It was a lot of fun. I went to do like a fun Harry Potter Forbidden Forest thing. It was amazing. Uh, so other than those two days, I've been writing every day. I've been tracking it in um, the planner. <laughs> And it's going great. Like, I'm I'm at, in Act 3. We're almost to the finale. But I also know, like, there's some scenes that I haven't decided on for the finale. Like, the exact specifics of the finale I haven't decided on. And I just don't want to write it. And I have no, like, reason why I don't want to write it. I'm just no longer in the mood. I think I burnt myself out last month. And now I'm basically just dragging my feet through it. My goal has been to write a thousand words a day. And I usually end up like around 1500. Um, which is awesome. I'm just like, I, I did not schedule time to write into my schedule for the month of December. There's just never enough time in the day. Just for fun, we have like our wood stove sitting in the middle of the living room so it can be installed into our fireplace. But we don't know when it will get installed, so instead, it just sits there until the people come and install it. There's a new day to leave behind your troubles. There's a new day. I'm doing a weird thing. <laughs> My book is at 76,391 words. I am at the finale scene and basically like the finale has come and gone and I'm just at the final image and then maybe an epilogue. But I am hating everything that I'm coming up with or what I am coming up with. It's not bad. It's just kind of boring. So um, rather than waste my time writing something that no matter what I try feels like it's just boring, I'm not going to write it at all. <laughs> and I am instead going to call the first draft done. I'm officially putting this down and uh, I'm calling it. It feels very strange to do this. I did something similar with Let the Rebel Fall where the first draft I think I didn't write the epilogue and then for draft two I wrote the epilogue and then for draft three I deleted the epilogue and wrote a new ep epilogue. So it's not the first time that an ending has felt a little wishy-washy to me and I had to fix it later. Um, but this is the first time where, like, it's the literal ending. Like, I'm literally at the finale scene, and I'm just not feeling inspired. So, I'm like, do I write for the sake of writing to call it done, or do I just... Like, I know how it's supposed to end. I have, like, a little bullet point section on how it's supposed to end. I'm just not excited by it. So, rather than wasting my time and energy, because... I've literally spent an hour writing less than 200 words today. I am just going to, I'm going to call it. And I'm going to take a break for a couple weeks. And I'm going to do self-edits next month. And when I do self-edits next month, hopefully I'll feel inspired. I think, honestly, I'm just, I'm just kind of burnt out. Because I still, I really love this story. But I think going from, like, I started writing book three before book two was even published. And I've never done that before. So I think it's been, one, confusing to my brain to be writing the first draft of one book while publishing another book. And then two, like not having a break at all. And part of me is a little worried that some of the themes 
of book two and book three might be (laughs) muddled a little bit. And I don't want that. Like, I want the books to be very different, especially since Marley, the main character of Let the Rebel Fall and Meet Me at the Summit, and Lori, the main character of book three, two totally different people. So I want to make sure that I'm not accidentally, like, muddling Lori's character. So for that reason, I'm calling it done. And I am going to wrap up this vlog here and I might do another self-editing vlog. Like, do you guys want to see a vlog where I show my self-editing process? Uh, I plan on doing some research while I wait. I plan on getting some big projects done. Uh, One of them being the final book in the um, book launch planner series. So I have my writing planner and then I have my novel outline planner, but I haven't released my book launch planner yet. So if you want to get on the wait list for that book, which is the book that's going to be most similar to the original book launch planner, um, then there's a wait list in the description of this video. You can sign up and when you get on the wait list, you'll be notified when the book is live on Amazon. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this writing vlog, please let me know because sometimes I feel like my writing vlogs are just a mess of footage. So, yeah. Thank you for watching.